Lesson 29. God is in everything I see. This lesson tells us that it explains everything that's come before and everything that will come after in the workbook. And it is the total basis for true vision. It says, try then today to begin to look on all things with love, appreciation, and open-mindedness. That's what we're learning today, to look on all things with love, appreciation, and open-mindedness. Nothing is as it appears to you. Its holy purpose stands beyond your little range. When vision has shown you the holiness that lights up the world, you will understand today's idea perfectly, and you will not understand how you could ever have found it difficult. <laughs> now, I'm just sharing my practice in the moment with you, and we each need to do the practice in our own way. So, read the lesson thoroughly and do what it tells you to do. I'm just offering my experience so that you feel a freedom to have an experience, any old experience, including what may seem like no experience. <laughs> God is in everything I see. The eyes don't really see. My personal perception of things is not sight. It is not holy vision. If God is in everything I see, my seeing needs a shift in perception in order for me to begin to get what real seeing is. I turn myself over to the Holy Spirit to help me get out of my own way that I might be a vessel, a pure unimpeded vessel for God's love. And in that process, I am purified. I am loved. And I become an instrument of love, radiating love. And God is in everything I see, begins to make sense. And I can quote-unquote see, with eyes closed, as well as eyes open. Vision has nothing to do with the eyes. And this lesson says to be unhurried. And if we're doing it right, at some point we'll feel a restfulness. And I do. And I offer it to you. This peaceful state of mind. This resting in God. Namaste. Ooh.